On 18th July every year, the world marks the Nelson Mandela International Day in recognition of the former South African president's contribution to establishing peace and freedom in his country. The day that was declared by the United Nations in November 2009 is also marked on the late president's birthday. Nelson Mandela was born in the village of Mveso in the Eastern Cape on 18th July 1918. His mother was Nunkampi Nosekeni and his father Nkosi Mandela, principal counsellor to the acting king of the Thembu people. Nelson Mandela studied law at the University of Fort Hare and the University of Witwatersrand before working as a lawyer in Johannesburg, where he became involved in anti-colonial and African nationalist politics, joining the African National Congress in 1943. After the National Party's white-only government established apartheid, a system of racial segregation that privileged whites, Mandela and the African National Congress committed themselves to overthrow it. Apartheid was a system where the people of South Africa were divided by their race, with each race forced to live separately from the other. Mandela was appointed president of the ANC's Transvaal branch, rising to prominence for his involvement in a 1952 defense campaign and the 1955 Congress of the People. He was repeatedly arrested for seditious activities and was unsuccessfully prosecuted in a 1956 treason trial. 1961, Mandela was arrested for treason and although acquitted, he was arrested again in 1962 for illegally leaving the country. Convicted and sentenced to five years at Robben Island Prison, he was put on trial again in 1964 on charges of sabotage where he was convicted along with several other ANC leaders and sentenced to life in prison for conspiring to overthrow the state following the Rivonia trial. Mandela spent the first 18 of his 27 years in jail at the Robben Island Prison. However, Mandela's resolve remained unbroken. 1989, F.W.D. Clark became South African president and set about dismantling apartheid. D. Clark lifted the ban on the ANC, suspended executions and in February 1990 ordered the release of Nelson Mandela amid growing domestic and international pressure and fears of racial civil war. Mandela and D. Clark led efforts to negotiate an end to apartheid which resulted in the 1994 multiracial general election in which Mandela led the ANC to victory and became the country's first black head of state in a fully representative democratic election, overseeing his country's transition from minority rule and winning international respect for promoting reconciliation. Mandela's government focused on dismantling the legacy of apartheid by tackling racism and fostering racial reconciliation. He retired from politics in 1999 but remained a global advocate for peace and social justice until his death in December 2013. Nelson Mandela was undoubtedly one of the greatest moral and political leaders of our time. He remains a revered force in the fight for human rights and racial equality. In one of his historic speeches at the Rivoni trial, Nelson Mandela stated, I have cherished the idea of a democratic and free society in which all persons will live together in harmony and with equal opportunities. It is an idea for which I hope to live and to see realized. But my Lord, if it needs be, it is an idea for which I am prepared to die. Mandela's accomplishments are now celebrated each year on July 18th on a day dubbed Nelson Mandela International Day, which was inspired by a call he made in the past for the next generation to take on the burden of leadership in addressing the world's social injustices when he said that it is in your hands now. This day is more than a celebration of Madiba's life and legacy. 
It is a global movement to honor his life's work that lays a charge on all humanity to change the world for the better. Thank you.